so project of wireless power transmission so here we are using the uh, transformer to step down the voltage 2 to 3 12 volts AC and then after 12 volts is given to the this section this is the section called of RPS regulator power supply section okay so here we will get the exactly 5 volts regulator power supply section so these 5 volts will be given to the this section this is a called of 100 kilohertz square wave pulse generator okay so we are going to generate the 100 kilohertz of pulses and the pulses will be given to this antenna it's a copper coil, nothing much. It's a copper coil. Okay. So when we give the input voltage to this copper coil, I think we know the Faraday's law, left hand rule. So the thumb direction is going to be the current flow. The remaining four fingers are going to be the magnetic field is occurred on the neighborhood of this copper cable. Okay. So when the supply is given to this in this direction, so total copper coil, so the magnetic field be EMF will be generated uh, surrounding of this copper coil, like in this direction, inside. Okay. Like this now, this is a power flow. So this is the like an EMF generation. So is inside this one. So so if I place the another copper coil which has the like, equal or greater than the resistance of this copper coil. So for example, this is the 15 ohms, only 15 ohms of resistance, and this is another copper coil which has 37 ohms. So later we are going to step up the voltage. Let us assume. Let's, let's see how it's going to how it's going to be done. And here when I place the near of this copper coil, so when is the EMF is generated here, so when I place the in, in the EMF this copper coil, this will be magnetized and it will give the produce the electrical voltage nothing but the AC only so the AC will be given to the AC voltage given to the rectifier here the rectifier section is there DB or not say given to the rectifier fully rectifier so after the fully rectification we get the filtration is there to filter the voltage the output voltage is given to the multimeter for measuring one ok so initial the capacity given in the 0.2 volts only DC this one ok so when I on this one I end up this much of distance 6 inch or the 15 centimeters okay so voltage is slightly increasing so when I nearby this thing we can observe the voltage increment slightly sorry so on the pitch voltage will be increasing so if I increase the distance between the two, uh, these two coils, the voltage will be decreased now. Means nothing but the capacity will be discharged. Okay. So let us see at the distance of 5 centimeters. So voltage is going to be slightly increasing around the is near to each this is a case of without no load so nothing no load was connected in parallel with this output connection so if you place the load obviously the power will be drop okay so you will not get this much of voltage the water should be drawn okay if you place it like this the same with same uh, very very near to this coil water should be dropping nothing but no voltage incoming to this coil okay means it's not going to be the same direction okay so we should place in the magnetic EMF field like this only this coil Wait till maximum voltage is switching. I think the maximum voltage is going to be the equal to the capacitor value. So we have the capacitor of 25 volts. So it will reach till that only. If you place like that till the same thing, the capacitor will try to handle the loads. Otherwise, the capacitor will be directly burnt out. It can't handle the voltage in the interval. See, 20 feet is maximum, I think so. Not supposed to take any risk. Should stop this.